Hi, it's Andre from Impact Etching. Today I wanted to make a quick video on how to clean the screw of the engraving machine. Why do you need to clean the screw of the engraving machine? Um, if you concentrate in this area, you will see there's a screw that is responsible for moving the head left and right, and then there's another screw that is covered by this uh, cover, which you will have to remove uh, to clean it. But mostly, this is the Y axis, this is the X axis mostly the screw that gets most of the dust and needs to be cleaned uh, first before a uh, y-axis screw needs to be cleaned is the, the x one, the shorter one, because it's closer to the stone it takes most of the movement and has most of the m big, bigger chances of accumulating dust and also it's lubricated so lubricant att attracts the stone dust uh, typically when dust settles on the screw what can happen it prevents the head from moving left and right the step motor that moves the, uh, the head is designed for uh, precision, it's not designed for a particularly strong moment. So at some point what can happen is the dust that accumulates on the screw can prevent it from moving left and right and typically when you engrave the symptoms of that is that part of the image will be okay and then it will shift. Uh, like uh, you engrave something and then the part of the image will shift at some point and it will continue engraving. So you can get those horizontal, I guess, shift in the engraving. And when you get that, that's definitely a sign that the, the screw needs to be cleaned. And in general, it's not a good practice to keep it dirty because the dust that got, got into linear bearing will wear out the, 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 bowl, uh, the bearing balls. So um, what do you need to be able to clean the screw? You, you will need um, WD-40, which is um, it's not the optimal lubricant, but we'll use it to break down dirt and to wipe it off. You will need the actual lubricant, which is um, mineral-based lubricant. Usually it's the typical bearing grease. It typically has green, yellow, red colors, and it looks like a translucent substance of approximately the viscosity of a mayonnaise, right? So uh, it's called mineral oil-based bearing grease with lithium thickener. and. Um, um, or looks like, like this, or they so, they're sold in tubes uh, to, to use with a gun, uh, either of them will work. Uh, another thing you will need is uh, go into the auto parts store and get yourself a big package of the microfiber uh, towels. Why microfiber? Because uh, we don't need any towels, any shedding towels. If you get uh, cotton towels, they will be shedding and getting those small uh, pieces of cotton on the um, on the screw. Uh, in our case, microfiber, and you definitely need more than one because you will ha you will end up using more than one. Believe me. And uh, another thing that's really helpful is to have a roll of uh, paper towels so that you can wipe your hands. So, um, having done that, what you do again? The ultimate goal for you is not to just clean the um, the screw but also to get all the dirt and all the gunk out of linear bearing. Linear bearing is a pretty, pretty complex mechanical system and believe me, there's a lot of cavities where dirt can be accumulated. So, uh, we, we need to do multiple passes, actually I typically do like three or four or five cleaning passes until all of the dirt got out of the linear bearing. So, uh, you will um, have to obviously initialize the machine, uh, set it probably to Never run it at a higher speed because um, the, the, the lubricant that you apply will fly all around. Uh, but you set it to uh, either medium or the lowest speed. And then um, what I typically do, and there's like no, not, not more than one way of doing it. I will, um, I will apply some WD-40 to, um, and this is like freshly bought one. I'm not sure why it doesn't work. Um, ah, you need to shift it down. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Okay, hold on. Okay, you shift it down, and then it starts working. And what I'm doing, I'm applying WD-40 quite liberally. I mean, try to prevent it from dripping. But other than that, um, you just apply some of it to break down the, um, the to break down the, the dirt and dust. It's mostly, it's stone dust, what you see here. And then you start moving it very slowly. Obviously, I mean, um, with some kind of some some care. I mean, we don't, we don't want you to cut off your fingers and then again, because <laughs> step motors are high precision, low momentum, you will likely not be able to cut off your fingers even if you want, but still be careful, okay? So, uh, you do multiple passes of wiping the screw, right? 
and uh, you, what you can, you see it starts, it starts showing on the towel. What you can also, also do, you can actually apply some WD-40 straight on the microfiber towel and, uh, and keep doing this. Um, back and forth, back and forth until, until you get, uh, until you get a, a read of all the, of all the dirt. The problem is as you get as you get rid of all the dirt, more dirt will be deposited on the screw. Okay, so um, what we're doing now is just the beginning of the process. So you see um, the grooves; they are still dirty. So I mean, keep wiping it until everything is clean. Okay, but um, as I said, this is just the beginning of the process. Uh, our idea is that we need to flash flash out the stone dust out of the linear bearing and uh, the, the way of doing that and really the only practical way of doing that is to uh, for me at least that's what i'm doing um, to apply to apply this uh, grease the, the bearing grease quite liberally to to the screw um, and have this grease basically go through the linear bearing while you move the uh, while you move the head along the screw okay um, and you, you see I apply quite a bit when you just start moving the head after that don't don't turn it on too high of a speed because then all this grease will fly around and we want to prevent mess as much as we can that's where the <laughs> The paper towels start coming handy because I don't know of any better way of applying this grease than with my bare hands. Okay, so um, I'll just show you one iteration of this, but uh, ultimately you might end up having uh, at least three iterations of doing this. So I start moving. Um, okay, slide the curve. Hi. I start moving the head back and forth. Now with uh, what will happen now is that layer of lubricant that gets applied to the screw it will get into the linear bearing and it will come out of linear bearing and as as that happens uh, it will flush out all of the dirt and gunk that got accumulated here okay so you do it slowly you see that um, the dirt already starting to come back come come out of the linear bearing Okay, now I can afford to, to do it slightly faster. Just wipe the excess off. And uh, then you do it like back and forth, back and forth to make sure that you flash out all of the, uh, all of the stone dust. Then the next thing you do, you again um, take your microfiber, and in the process you'll probably end up using more than more than one for sure. Uh, my microfiber only has one side, which is like fiber sticking out out of it, so only one side is actually well suited for wiping. So um, I'll have to switch them quite often. Um, and uh, again, dry it clean and dry it until it's clean. okay. Too, too too much of a speed, okay like this yeah. low speed do it at low speeds because at high speeds there's no momentum and uh, the step motor can be sleeping right. skipping steps as they say okay you see um, still a lot of stone dust coming out so I'll just keep keep wiping Okay, and uh, so what you've seen has just been basically one pass, okay? 
Uh, again, uh, what I would do in this particular case, repeat the procedure, again, um, a little bit of WD-40. WD-40 is not an ultimate lub lubricant here. We use WD-40 to break down the gunk and to be able to wipe the screw of all the, of all the residue, right? I see a lot of dirt on the grooves of the screw, right? That should not be the case. So whenever you see the dirt on the grooves, you need to wipe it very thoroughly so that all the dirt is done, is gone, okay? That's why microfiber cloth is good because it has those kind of, I don't know, fine microfiber sticking out of it and they get into the grooves on the screw. And you make sure that everything is clean and there's no baked on, uh, there's no baked on stone dust. Well, if you, if you zoom in on the screw now, right, the, the grooves here need to be completely clean of all the stone, stone, um, stone, stone, stone dust, right? Um, don't apply any force to the, to the screw, by the way, as you do it. We don't want to bend the screw, but uh, something like this, right? I mean, just hold it, wipe it, make sure it's super clean, and uh, that will be just one pass of this, okay? You apply some more of, then you apply some more of the, of the actual lubricant to flush the, 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 the linear bearing more. Uh, do back and forth at slow, at slow speed. If the, as, as, as long as the dirt, as long as the dust keeps coming out of the linear bearing, you are not done. If it takes five repetitions, make five repetitions. It, it all depends on how long it was since you cleaned up your machine last time, since you cleaned it up last time. So ultimately then, once the dirt stops coming out after this procedure, you wipe this. What you wipe the screw dry, and then you apply a really thin layer of this lubricant. I mean, not as not as much as I was applied to flush out the bearing. Just a thin layer of the lubricant, just a little bit, um, and again, let it spread by moving the head left and right, and then your cleaning job is almost done, with exception of um, this surfaces on which yet another. Uh, yet another bearing is sliding. If you look at, um, you, you need to come over from this side. If you look at these surfaces, there's a, one surface on top, another surface at the bottom. Well, with these guys, it's kind of simple, even though they can have quite a bit of baked on dust, uh, dust and dirt, in particular the lower part because it, it's closest to the stone. So make sure, in this particular case, what I would do the same story. Uh, a little bit of WD-40 on the, on the, on the micro, microfiber towel and then you wipe it very well make sure you get rid of all the dust along the entire length of um, of your axis and then obviously move the head and then do the same in do the same in place which is currently blocked by the head all right and you see there's like a lot of dust here. I mean, you need to clean not not just this area, but I mean the entire length because that's where the bearing ultimately slides. On top, and remember, it's the same surface as at the bottom. It needs to be completely clean of all the dirt, of all the dust. And uh, like for example, here I see quite a lot. Uh, if you if you look at this area, for example, right? I mean, this might be clean, but over here there's quite a lot of quite a lot of dust which will prevent the linear bearing from moving as well right so make it completely clean wipe it dry and then the same story apply a little bit of a uh, pretty thin layer of of this lubricant and by thin layer i mean you could barely see it i mean really i mean just a little bit right um it uh, that sh that should be sufficient and by the way our uh, before i forget uh, as you as you apply tons of this lubricant to flush out the linear bearing, um, a lot of that lubricant will accumulate on, on either side of the linear bearing. So you need to then carefully wipe it out. I mean, it's not here yet, but after a few, after a few passes of back and forth, you will see that there's a lot of lubricant accumulating here. It might even start to drip. Uh, wipe out all of the excess. Make sure there's like no excess lubricant. Everything should be clean. And that is something you should do at least probably
once every few months, like once every three to five months, if you use machine a lot, three to, three to six months, and definitely if during the engraving you get shifts in the engraving, that means something prevents the head from movement, uh, and it's time for you to completely clean the screw. Um, that's it, and um, thank you very much for watching. I hope this will help.